G'day guys, we've got an awesome episode for you today. But before we get into that, just quickly, we have something extremely exciting hidden in today's episode. So what we've got today, guys, we've got a little bit of a giveaway. So if you've been following us across our social medias, this is where we used to do our giveaways through there, but just these days it's so bloody hard to do a giveaway of our people making scam pages and just had four pages created faking the traveling cameras. It happens to absolutely yeah, everyone. It was just an absolute pain. So we sort of stopped the giveaways and we thought, hey, we could start chucking some into uh, into the YouTube episode. For you guys, maybe if you're not following the socials, it's now your turn to win. So in today's episode, as you guys know, we've been using this Navigator gear for ages. We absolutely love it. The whole crew there is absolutely awesome. Chairs, uh, dog bed. Georgia loves her dog bed. The dog hammock in the back. Get a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of questions about that one. So. We've got giving you guys a chance to win. So what we've got is we've got a fifty dollar, uh, fifty dollar voucher from the guys at Navigator, and we're going to chuck an extra fifty dollars on top out of our own pocket to round it up to a hundred bucks. So hundred bucks to spend on this store, you can get a lot of gear for that yeah. for a hundred bucks. So make sure you jump on their website, flick through, uh, ha have it a look, see what you guys reckon you can get. What we got is we've got a little bit of a code word hidden throughout, uh, hidden throughout this uh, today's episode. So all you got to do to win, guys, is once you get through, once you get that code word, put in the comments below in caps, say it nice and proudly, like you mean it, <laughs> in the bottom, and want to know what you're going to get from Navigator and why you should be the winner. So how we're going to do it is we'll let the episode probably go for maybe midweek, end of the week. Uh, we'll go through, we'll read them all, uh, we'll pick a winner. Uh, make sure you got, make sure you got your email notifications. So what we'll do is we'll reply to you. Uh, make sure you. And then you can reach out for the social media. We'll confirm that it's actually you, <laughs> and then uh, and then you'll be the winner. So awesome! We're going to be doing a bit more of this uh, as we go along. Again, just a way to give back to you guys, uh, help you guys use some of the gear that we use uh, and get out there. Yeah. So again, guys, enjoy absolutely awesome episode. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. G'day, guys, and welcome to another episode. We are officially in, in South, South Australia. Australia. So this is this is a really. It's really been a bit of it's been an emotional sort of yeah. cost like we've been in how long's it been in WA for now? Uh, like eight months. Like eight months. Yeah. So just we cross into the border, Kanana, all that stuff. What an absolute adventure it's been through WA and it's time we've just really literally amazing. literally passed. You know, look, it's uh it wouldn't be our uh, our journey if it wasn't just so different to everything else. So literally just back there, there's mm -hmm. two semi trucks on fire that have burnt to the ground. Mm -hmm. Massive. You can see it in the background. In the background here, so right in front of the freaking sign, uh, the SAW where you get that nice uh, flash, uh, flash oh, yeah. photo. We can't do it. No. <laughs> it's all, it's the, all. And the kangaroo, the giant kangaroo with the Vegemite. Yeah, the nah. Vegemite kangaroo. Uh, we won't have to stop into it. So you can see the flies have been uh, really friendly. It's 41 degrees. It's just crazy. How you go from Esperance, windy. It's still windy here. A couple thousand k's later, uh, and it's hot as hell. So really back into that, back into that desert style. So. But again, yeah, every, everyone seems to be okay over here. Uh, it just literally happened like an hour. Like everything is still. Yeah. We yeah. actually weren't sure if we we're going to get a, about to get across mm. the border. So it's uh quite scary. So we still got the big Oz guys are in in, con in convoy with us. So we're we're heading over to SA. We're going to do the what are we doing first? Uh, Air, Air Peninsula. Air Peninsula first. We're going to kind of find a couple of beach camps along now. Uh, seem to be getting a bit of a break from the wind. Hopefully uh, later in the week. So traveling campers is in SA. And then we'll eventually be in Victoria, then going north. So yeah, how exciting is this? Massive, massive border change. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go start exploring South Australia. You. Well, welcome to SA. We're out here at uh, Bunda Cliffs, one of the most amazing, <laughs> amazing campsites you can find. But we are not we, camping here. We are not camping here. It is bloody. There is the biggest locust like cricket plague coming through here. It's been out here for quite a while. And then when I say it's literally. <laughs> Jesus. It'd have to be, the car was saying 47 degrees and I reckon it's actually, it is so hot out here. It is just crazy, but we still pulled up here. These views along here are absolutely amazing, but this is just unbearable. And we're gonna fall. <laughs> Oh, I full just tasted that. Yeah. But yeah, no, we can we can put up with a lot, but uh, we don't, we can't do this. But look, it's probably not going to be much better uh, just down the road. That's the that's the awesome. Just beat me. Oh, oh, this is this is just pure uh, Australia for you, I guess. There's, everywhere you go, there's always there's always something. But again, we just uh, 
We're pulling up here, enjoying this view. <laughs> um, we're going to get in the car and uh, and and keep going, keep going down the road, I think. But such a shame, it's absolutely amazing oh, area it's along such here. A beautiful view out there on, over the cliffs, but. I think no matter where we're rocking up, <laughs> yeah, this is this is the reality of you know why why we don't we you know everyone's like you know like cooking outside and stuff like this is the reality you when you're traveling full time you can't you can't time the weather you do come across things like this. I've lost my hat. Oh. Yep. That's why you can see my massive forehead at the moment. My hat's uh my lotus hat that's done half a lap of Australia with me uh, gone. So <laughs> a little bit shattered, but anyway, let's enjoy this view and carry on. Well, we found home for the night and look I apologize to those guys that uh that kept telling me not to wear my hat backwards uh, as you just seen I lost my other hat so I'm back to my good old BF Goodrich hat which uh, only suits me when it's on backwards so until we get to uh until I get to some uh near some post office I have to get another another couple of hats <laughs> sent out to me so I can fix that up so we put up a, at a gravel pit for the night this is home for the night the Nullarbor Roadhouse is literally just over there uh, we're gonna head over there uh, in the morning just to sort of check it out uh, I've got enough fuel to keep uh, keep pushing along it's two dollars 44 uh, just over there so should have enough to get uh, uh, get through the nun drew I think it's called uh, which is about dollar uh, 78 so back to back to normality so look again it's hot as hell out here it's been windy as you've seen before we had bloody locusts we had just so much stuff going on as, as we've got into SA and look this is one of the reasons why we have done what we've done with our caravan like it's hot as hell here we're in a we're in a gravel pit this 900 amp battery system there was only like we only had one or two people that said like oh no one no one needs 900 amp of, of lithium but and I, as i'm saying this i literally just reading a post in a lotus group of someone saying they got 600 amp of batteries and they're, they're going to get three you know two three hours out of the air con and all this stuff's not enough here we are pulled up uh we've got the internet going we've got uh the air con going it's already been going for about an hour and a half um, we'll have this going for probably five or six hours until we actually do have a bit of a cool change coming through. So it's meant to meant to rain a bit later on, which is going to be going to be pretty crazy. It's getting a little bit windy again. So again, this is this real life experience out here. We're in total comfort. We're cooking inside in the oven. Uh, a nice sort of 26 degrees inside, doing some work. Uh, the out there internet systems up. We got fast internet. Watching YouTube uh, out in the literally the middle of the Nullarbor. Well, here we are at the old, famous uh, Nullarbor Roadhouse. Obviously, she's uh, she's closed, uh, well and truly closed <laughs> down now. So, I was right over there before. It was in the 1840s where the Air Highway, uh, the highway that goes through here, uh, was started. Oh, so really? Yeah, that's pretty... nothing. That's, like, that's a long time ago. We love this sort of stuff. It sort of reminds us of our start of our trip. We had, like, the Unidata track and that, yeah. sort of going past and seeing that sort of old stuff. Just knowing, I think just knowing, like, again, like, people, like, the history of, like, people, we, like, this was functioning one day and all that stuff just how different it is and i guess uh how did I get, they get to perth back in the day then? oh i, I guess how soft wow. we are like here we are yesterday it's hot we're in 18 degrees air conditioning cars like we're just we're just pussies compared to those those guys uh those guys back Sorry, there but in, in cars back then. no hell no let's uh let's go have a little bit of a look uh a look around we'll swing the camera around here how's that coming car look The old fridge, a little bit dark in here. That's cool. I wonder how cold that fridge would get. <laughs> that is awesome. Is that a GME? <laughs> That's awesome. Just crazy. Crazy how things have changed. This is just, this is an awesome little, 
Awesome little display here. There's a little another spot now. Other side there. Yeah, oh, wow. That's cool. What's that old like mixing drill, like a mi mixer or something? My dad loves this stuff. You gotta get him across. <laughs> I know. <laughs> This is awesome. So worth. So not not that there's that much other stuff to check out out here, <laughs> but um, yeah, just this is just, it's also awesome. Again, it's one of those things where you've seen seen so many photos, videos yourself of people getting the photos there, which we're about to do with the uh, at, in, in, in ourselves. But when you hear hear yourself seeing it, this really reminds you of like that uh, American, like Mike hasn't oh, been to America yeah. before, but like there's out. Oh, how do you sort of outback American sort of servos? Like that's what even what it reminds me about here. The signs, I just that really. Looks really old and yeah, I think, I think it's really cool. So anyway, we'll have a look around here and then uh, we are on the highway again. So we're coming close to the end of the Nullarbor. We're put into Penong, it's called. So there's uh, the Lake Lake McDonald uh, Salt Lakes out here. So it's meant to be, we've seen a couple of nice nice shots and a nice, yeah. nice little bit of food. You do love a good Salt Lake. Yeah, this is to really start to remind us of, uh, of uh, back at home now. So we're going to head down here and it looks like we can actually get out uh, to the tip here, which goes out near to the, to the beach. So it looks awesome. Going to go check it out. Got out to the end here is uh, Point Sinclair, and it is amazing. This is what we really thought. This is what we've been expecting from South Australia. We've been to South Australia before, but we haven't been to the western side. Yeah, no, this is, this is that really sort of introduction to what the peninsulas uh, are yeah. going to be like. So it's a nice uh, little bit of a paid campsite just down the road. Uh, we're just going to keep going down the road uh, tonight, but just crystal clear water. It's just got, we've got them same sort of colours. Not as not as good, but yeah. crystal clear and them sort of that turquoise colours. aqua, yeah. It's sort of like an aqua colour. Yeah, sort of like that Esperin sort of type. Mm. And like the wind is so much more calmer now. <laughs> that's, the, that's the absolute There's best thing. a bit thing. of a breeze going on, but it's, yeah. it's not howling. No, so they got a little bit of a um, designated swim area uh, in here because I think a, didn't a little boy get yeah, taken back by? Yeah, in the eighties, like a little boy was taken by a shark. Yeah, so I've got it all fenced off and that, so it's a it's a safe safe swimming area. A couple of little spots you can jump in the water there, and it's actually it's actually nearly, uh, nearly warm enough to go mm, for a swim. It's uh, getting absolutely nice. absolutely beautiful, but a good drive down here. The nice little cliffs behind it, and just I reckon this would be really really worth. There's quite a few cars out there camping. This would be absolute. Mm. Beautiful area. So yeah, we, we're into it now. We're into all these uh, nice spots now, camping, beach camping. Uh, this is what we've been looking forward to. We made it down to Palubi Bay, so we've been so so keen to get down here. There's a camp down here. Uh, it's got an honesty box there, uh, ten bucks a night. So 
chucked a couple of nights in the box, so we're going to probably probably end up staying here a, a bit longer, but I know the weather's going to be good for the weekend, so we'll get out and enjoy that. I've just aired down to, we went down to 18 PSI. Um, it looks like you should pretty be be pretty good to get on there, but we're going to go down a fair bit. There's actually quite a few people down here, so, so we'll just air down to 18 all around uh, Karen Cavernous in case we do get in a bit of soft stuff. The last thing we're doing is getting bogged in front of everyone, so the weather down here is just the best weather we've had in so long, so keen to park up, find a spot, and get into it. And an awesome spot, get a garden, there's soft stuff here. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is so bloody worth it, what an amazing spot. Georgia is having an absolute ball. She loves it when the water's just calm like this. There's no waves. So she can walk out as deep as she can go and just walk around and explore. She was sniffing in the water before, so I don't know how that went. She would have got a big breath full of water. But yeah, she's just loving it. Just heard the sound of another patrol coming along. It's our friends from uh, Big Oz, Chris and Sean, the kids. So we've actually got plenty of space here. So we're sort of real on the same sort of route going down here. We're sort of just going to all the same places. So <clears throat> they're going to park up here. It's a beautiful afternoon. So I reckon it's along here. Chris's air down as well. Again, we've still got, look at everyone down there. There's probably like 25 cars all just jammed near each other. We've got a good probably 200 meters plus uh, just because it's, you know, it's, it's just softer down here. No one wants to. Especially bring vans in here, we've got absolute primo spot. So, Chris is gonna go up there and turn around. So, uh, fingers crossed he uh, makes it in first go because I can't not be bothered digging. Not that one. Another guy. <laughs> Softer than it looks, eh? Oh, like that's actually pulling pretty hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. It actually looks like nothing at all. Bloody eh? As soon as you get into it there, you're like just third gear pinned <laughs> and you can just feel the van go boo and you just, I was flat the yeah, whole way. <laughs> Usually you can crawl it, but that's, uh, that's, that's, dude, that's deep. That that's is, horsepower. That is proper soft, yeah. Guys, you go, get the bloody right car and you can do cool shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're doing a little bit of exploring. So we've come out to uh, Cape, I think it's called Cape Bower. It's B A U E R. I think it's Bower. K Bower at the lookout out here. We have the, we have not seen the seas after being in Western Australia for so long. We have not seen seas this it's so calm, calm and just this nice gentle breeze. It is oh, just beautiful. A miracle. These lookouts out here, the cliffs, the colours is just absolutely magic. Like Only... A beautiful um, aqua colour. Like after being in WA, like all the water's really turquoise, but over oh, here, like it's real magic. aqua sort of colour. So easy to get out of here. Like literally like ten minutes out of town, and it's just. Such an easy drive. We've got some blowholes to go look at, uh, a couple of just nice random cliffs that to go look at. So it's going to be an awesome day, awesome weather. It's going to be an absolute cracker day.
couple of k's down the road uh, to the whistling rocks and blowholes. Um, you can definitely hear it yeah, whistling through. There you go. I'm putting on a show. I'm sure you can hear that. You can obviously see, I think a bit more high tide, I must come up out of the top of the couple of these rocks up the top mm. here. There's a couple of smaller ones down the bottom there, but uh, we had a look down the bottom there. You can see the all the water going underneath, right underneath the cliffs there, and obviously just the pressure coming up through. It's uh, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, you can see how much water must come up so high yeah. up here. It's just freaking insane, but this is definitely an awesome spot. Just outside of town, to kind of look at, you can hear it just going off in the background there. Friggin' it's cool. beautiful, very, very cool. Back out of Polubi, we've had a bit of a uh, afternoon high tide, which has been nice. So the tides, even in the high tides, like just it's like ankle deep for like so long. <laughs> it's it, it really takes it. Really got to, the tides really got to be right in. You just sort of have to like lay down in the water, but the water's nice and warm, so it's just absolutely magic. So oh, it's just been epic. I really, really do wish that uh, we had an awning though. Obviously, if you've been following the channel, we lost our awning uh, over in WA. So wait till we get back over to Victoria to fix it. We just can't be bothered uh, getting, any, getting any fixed, uh, waiting for parts and that. So we're going to be back over there shortly anyway. So really missing the awning out here. It's been uh, <laughs> the sun smashing and we get that uh, afternoon sun in here. So we're going to uh, I've actually got a bit of a special guest. We've got uh, Mark, the owner of Navigator Gear, uh, and his missus and that are coming down this afternoon. They're going to actually be camping up with us uh, for a couple of days, which is going to be going to be awesome. So he's got a bit. Of, he's got a tinny as well, so I'm sure we could probably pull his leg to. Uh, oh yeah, take that out. To get that out, no <laughs> dra no dramas. But Georgia is absolutely loving out here. She's actually just over here <laughs> at, at, at the oh, at the moment. She's found something actually. It's going have a bit of a look. I think she's could have found a. Oh, she's found a crab. Georgia. Is that a crab? No. Oh no, that's something else. Hang on, get away from that. It's like a bloody... What is that? That's a um, fish egg thing. Fish egg thing? Fish egg oh. Ah, Georgia. Yeah, have a look. I think it's a egg. The egg sack. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, yeah, don't eat it. eat it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, she just took a freaking chunk out of it. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't even know what that is. What is it? Um, so... Because we've been with Big Oz. Yeah, they know everything. They know everything about every animal in, like, sea or land. <laughs> so apparently that is an egg sack. Yeah, it's right, like yeah. Egg, so. Dogs, dogs like it, like trying to eat them. So she actually Caviar. found a, she found a crab the other day. She was uh, sitting out here and she found a crab and so it, it was, I think it was dead though. It was just floating there, but she, um. No, she found a live one. Oh, right, yeah. And I think it took a snap, it took a snap yeah, at her. And she was just following so. her as it was trying to get away from so her. So she's just been trotting around, just exploring, just finding little holes and putting her nose under and just like digging little holes in that. So it's been magic, but we're going to plan to hopefully, it's a little bit overcast at the moment, but hopefully, uh, Set the chairs up later, uh, watch a nice sunset, the sunset's out of here, out of here, being absolutely awesome. It is the weekend, a little bit more busy out here, but we've still got all this land here for, 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 for someone else, so just absolute epic spot. Talk about Navigator, he actually bought some uh, bought some new chairs over for us, so ones we had, this is something you guys don't know actually, <laughs> when, we did our, when we did our run down and uh, lost the awning, I had to get two screws up there because we just took the awning off and had to get it off so we could film our video, so to get up there, I didn't have a step, so I used my chair uh, to get up, and then me, being a fat ass, uh, jumping back down the chair, I actually snapped my chair, so <laughs> we've gone the last, 
what, how long? Four weeks? Six weeks? Yeah. Yeah, four, four or six weeks uh, with one chair and a stool, but just, I've just popped it out. Have a look at the difference here. Look at that. That is gross. That's what your chairs look like when you're just wet and dirty and sitting on them. Sunscreen. And, uh, sunscreen and, 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 and don't and wash dog. them. That's 12 months of... Um, of yuckiness, but <laughs> we've got, a, got a, fresh, a fresh couple of chairs now, so we've got two of them back in the game. <laughs> oh, this gives you an idea of how uh, how soft it is here. I uh, got, some, got some guests rocking up today, and uh, they didn't let their tires down. Only a little bit, but not enough. So they've come in here trying to, trying to get up on the beach here and uh, gone straight down. <laughs> so just uh, airing down now to 16, front and back for them. Just give them a hand. Hope you've had a reverse out and uh, get their spot. <laughs> Tire pressures make all the difference. We've got some more amazing weather today. Uh, yesterday, we actually, we haven't filmed a massive amount since we've been out. This has sort of really been a spot we found, we found and just chilled out and just tried to relax. We've been wanting that oh, for, so for, long. for so long. So it has been really joining out. I had the guys from Big Oz here, uh, Mark from Navigator and the, the families here. Uh, we've also got um, Chris and Karen from here as yeah, well. There's some friends that are traveling with. Uh, Navigators. Neighbours. Neighbours. Same street as them. So yeah, they've been absolutely travelling together. Absolutely awesome. So it was Navigator's third birthday uh, two days ago. So we had a, a decent night to say the <laughs> least. Uh, out, Celebrated Navigator. Out here of all that. See, that was uh, that was absolutely awesome. And just yesterday was just yeah, it rained all day yesterday. So we had perfect weather here. The winds, everything's been amazing. It actually rained uh, all day yesterday. So we yeah. spent the spent, pretty much spent the day in the uh, in the caravan, nice. which was nice. And this is yeah. really where that. Again, I'm not going to say it again, with that, uh, our battery system, that 900 amp battery system come into its own. I know everyone else here was oh. down to 25%, 29%. And having an oven inside. So yeah. Cook our lunch. Cooking inside. It was raining yeah. outside, so we're inside cooking. I didn't want to be standing out in the weather. Inverter was on all day. We're watching Sons of Anarchy on there, doing some work, <laughs> all that stuff. And I think we had uh, one battery drains just a touch quicker than the others. That was about 74%. The others were, uh, were 83 So they do balance out as they go down, as they, as they charge up. So still had... <laughs> A, a big bank left, which yeah. has been uh, epic. So Yesterday actually, was not a day for solar. No, it wasn't so a solar day. Yeah, no, not every day system. is a good solar day. Uh, so this is where, yeah, that battery bank you've got to have the both coupled is ultimate for living yeah. on the living on the road. So yeah. we're actually heading off today. So we've actually we're gonna we're gonna pack her up. Uh, we've got the van everything loaded on here. Uh, we're moving on. So we've got a bit of a free camp uh, d about an hour and a half down the road. Uh, that we've sort of heard about. We're going to go down there, check it out on the cliffs now, then to be absolutely epic. Then we're going to slowly make our way down to Port Lincoln, Coffin Bay. We've got some amazing spots along the way we've been looking for. More free, more free camping coming up. It's going to go in town, get some supplies and that, uh, and move on. Absolutely no dramas there because we were aired down. So, so many people don't air down. And that's why you can see the crowds, like they're absolutely jammed in like sardines because the beach is all hard there. So they don't air down so they can just drive straight on and park up. But if you air down and go down further along the beach where it's a bit softer, like we did, you can have a whole stretch of beach to yourself. So I think the closest people to us were maybe like, 300 meters away so you could barely even see them uh so yeah it was just absolutely awesome to have it all to ourselves. you know just as we were driving back up i'm like oh i could not imagine just camping on top like right next to strangers i could feel like you're in a caravan park like you come out to these places to get away from all of that you know and have some space to yourself so that was just absolutely awesome just having that to ourselves. so definitely air down and go down further it's so worth it you won't regret it and there's also, so a lot of people think it's free to camp here. There's actually an honesty box, so it's $10 a night. So yeah, we've chucked in, I think we were here for a week, so we've chucked in about 70, 80 bucks. And yeah, so it's cheap, you know, a whole week's accommodation for probably what, what you'd pay for like one or two nights at a caravan park. So absolutely awesome, you know, having the amount of water and the batteries that we have, it's been able to, you know, we've been able to stay out here um, yeah, for about a week, so it's been absolutely awesome. 